Hello everybody! Yeah, I know it's a miracle my hair's the same colour as the last video, but that's because I got bored and I filmed twice in a day. So I was just chatting to my friend and remembering what happened a couple of weeks back, it wasn't that long ago, and it was a bit of a weird situation. Um, so basically, I downloaded Tinder. No story ever that ever starts with that is good, let's be honest. <laughs> um, so I downloaded Tinder. And it's just like a game, really, to be fair, isn't it? You're not going to find your Prince Charming on there. Um, but, you know, swiping right on someone I thought was really good looking. And they had liked me back. And so, you know, I waited till they messaged me because I'm like that and get scared to send the first message. And we got talking. Um, we had quite a lot in common, quite musical. They've done a lot of creative stuff in their past as well, like TV shows and stuff. Um, and I thought, you know when you know that someone's like just too good to be true because you just have too much in common and like, it's, I don't know, like you just get this weird vibe. So I got like this weird vibe but I kind of ignored it and I wish I hadn't. Um, <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, so <clears throat> I was a bit nervous to go on a date because like I hadn't dated in like ever. Like, I'd just come out of, like, a really long relationship. So, I decided to go on this date. I agreed to, for them to actually pick me up. And we went for some food. <clears throat> now, I decided I'd wear a really nice dress. And I stupidly wore heels that I cannot walk in. I was hobbling, like, over to get into the, um, the actual restaurant. Um, and I'm not even joking. It was raining outside, so I thought I'd fall over. I put one foot in the door of this restaurant and I slipped right on my bum. I am so cringy and it's not even okay because like I embarrassed myself so much but at the same time I'm so used to being so clumsy it didn't even faze me. The problem was they kept talking about it for the rest of the date. That really pissed me off because I was like get over it, Like, let's not, let's not, you're trying to make me feel awkward. You know because like I got over it straight away and the, the lady just really casually didn't even acknowledge that it happened that was taking us to our table and she just like started talking about the menu and stuff and made it comfortable and I was like over it but like I went to the toilet like a little while later um, after we'd ordered some food and I was literally like on the phone to my friends going I'm an idiot why did I wear these heels and they were like you fell over didn't you and I'm like yep I'm an actual idiot <laughs> So I went back out, we had some food, we chatted a bit. I felt kind of uncomfortable, like, cause like, I don't know, I I wasn't used to like dating and stuff and talking about myself like in that scenario, you know? Um, it was just, it's just weird, dates are weird. Um, I prefer like an interactive date, like going like to watch the cinema or to actually a cinema's kind of a bad date cause you can't really talk. Like bowling. Bowling's fun. You get to know someone's personality. Or like the ghetto golf thing that they've got in Birmingham is kind of cool. Um, so, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so dinner was a bit awkward, but like, you know, I kind of liked the person. I thought they were kind of cool. I just jabbed on my chin. <laughs> um, see, clumsy. Like, naturally clumsy. I, I thought they were cool, and, you know, we went to a bar, and... I didn't have my ID on me, so we had to go to a different one. And like, they were literally like holding on to me this time, like when I was walking with my heels. And then we went to a different bar, and that one, well, it was more like a, like a pub. This one, it was a little bit like dingy and creepy, and I didn't know where exactly I was on the map, so I kept pinpointing my, my like location to my mom on my phone because like we're like we're really super close, so she wanted to know that I was okay. Um, so then we went to this pub. He went up and got drinks for us. Um, and then, even though I've just turned 23, I still get ID'd all the time, especially when I don't wear any makeup, but of course I was wearing makeup that day and I still was getting ID'd. We, I think we both were, and he definitely doesn't look young. Um, but yeah, so we had a few drinks. Oh, what did we even talk about? Oh yeah, we were talking about how I like, um, the countryside and stuff like that, and he was like, oh, I know this pub, like, literally down the road, a little bit closer to mine. Um with really cool architecture inside and it's like natural wood and I was like that sounds really cool and he's like okay well we can go for a drink there if you fancy it so we went there had a drink there I got a weird vibe again but I think that was because I was like super super nervous at the time so I didn't really recognize it I was just like nervous and trying not to word vomit and say something stupid 
And then it was getting a bit late and my phone was about to die so I couldn't like Uber home and I noticed that he'd had a couple to drink by then so I thought I'd have to Uber home but my phone was literally on his last legs, looked at my phone and it died. So I asked if I could charge my phone at his because he said we could just maybe like watch a movie for a bit which like kind of made me uncomfortable but we watched a movie, I charged my phone and I've skimmed over the main point of this video. We got into deep talking at that place the last pub place, um, and he started talking about how he'd been to prison for laundering money, and he'd done this, that, and the other, and I was like, what the hell, why have you waited to tell me this until like the last place that we're at, and my phone's about to die, now I remember why the urgency to charge my phone. Um, so yeah, he started telling me about how he's been to prison, and he got in this fight, and he's got this scar, and I was like freaking out at this point, like, oh my god, I want to go home. Um, and because my phone was going to die, my mum wouldn't know my location, or like anyone else for that matter. So I charged my phone, and after the end of the movie, he seemed to be fairly sober. On the way back driving to mine, he started to get road rage, which actually, like, again, I was scared for my life. Like, I said where to turn, and he ignored me because he was too busy, like, shouting at the driver in front of me. So when we finally got back to mine, I was so relieved. <sighs> Don't do Tinder dates unless you actually know the person and you like them, and you're like, yep, yeah, I already like you. Oh, weird experience. Never want to meet someone I don't know again. <laughs> No, it's, I don't know, I think if you're a friend of the friend, a friend of a friend of yours, you can sort of get an idea, so stay safe, <laughs> don't put yourself in a position like I was, because I was genuinely having like anxiety attacks inside, quite scared, um, but it's an interesting story, and it's another video I can work up on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this and want to hear many of my other crazy story times, uh, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this and if you've experienced any crazy dates before. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye! Still have no voice! <laughs>